Hey guys, this is the Aviation LAS here. Today we're here for some um, unboxing and memorabilia items to review from Spot LAX 2024. Hope you guys are ready for this video. If you are, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stop the bell and share the video so you never miss another video again. And let's get started. So I'll be showing you some memorabilia items first and then we'll get started with two models. I have one and one, one, one 400 scale and one and 200 scale. So Let's get started with some memorabilia items and uh, special thanks for uh, Cranky Flyer and Spot LAX themselves. So let's get into it. So, uh, okay. They have a lot of memorabilia items. So, <laughs> so what I got first, uh, let's get started with the stuff I got from the Flight Ram Tour at Spot LAX on Saturday morning. So I got this um, LAX socks, I guess. It's making a reference. So yeah, I got it from the Fright Ramp Tour, it was very cool. Um, nothing too special besides LAX, of course. I love LAX, so I decided to get it. So Spot LAX 2024 is very awesome. So nothing too special about it. And yeah. Next up, uh, this is from the DHL at the Fright Ramp Tour. Uh, from the DHL uh, company. Uh, they show us the area, if you haven't seen the video of the D me walking into the D DHL 767, then check out the video at the Fly Ramp Tour. So I got this uh, little silly plane, I'm making the reference. Uh, got it from the DHL company. Um, there was a table that was that was giving away some DHL stuff, so I decided to get this. So, um, which is a little plane of the DHL, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So this, like, it's not a model, I know that. And yeah, it's like rubberish, something like that. It's rubberish. So yeah, nothing too special about it, but you know, it's cool. I like it, nothing to complain about. So I guess, yeah, it's not a model or anything. So yeah. So now I got this, I don't know what is this from, from LAX, of course. So all I have to do just pin it like this. Um, just pin it like that. So I don't know what it does. So LAX, yeah, Spot LAX 2024. Yeah, so um, I like what they did. I also got it for the Fright Man tour. It was very good. So they gave it to me for free once I sign in. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> Next up, um, okay, this is from Jet Tip. Uh, special things from Nick from Jet Tip. I got the list of all the planes I catch. You can see on my checklist, of course. So I pretty much almost got everything. Um, I didn't even know Alaska Air Cargo came. Um, I did saw Swoop. United, Western, American, Cayman, Copa, DHL. I was surprised Cayman came. I was not expecting that. Air China Cargo, Asiana, Atlas, Cargo Lux, Cathay. Flexport I have not seen, but I did seen it before, but not at the Spot LAX thing. Uh, Korean 747, no, like not the passenger one. They don't send them anymore. Korean Air Cargo, Latanza. National, I did not see it. Nippon, uh, SF Cargo, Singapore, Skylease, Western Global, Sub 5s, Delta, United. UPS I have not seen. <laughs> so 767s. I did not even see Mirror Jet or Cargo Jet or Amazon. Okay, I did saw DHL. I forgot to check that off, so I want to do that. United, they don't send the 767s anymore. I know that. They don't send them as much anymore. Yeah. Oh, so new return discontinued. Yeah, it makes sense. Discontinued. Um I pretty I Saw so, pretty much all the Dreamliners except Examine. I did not see that. I don't know why. <laughs> they always come in in the nighttime, so I rarely saw them. Triple Sevens, I did not see near Canada or Logic. I did not even see FedEx. I did not see that. Um, yeah, I, I did saw Asia, KLM Asia, but the difference is I saw it in Las Vegas during my departure so, to LAX, so I guess that counts. Saudi, I did not see it for some reason. I don't know why. So, and here's the other side too, all the baby buses, uh, A220s, 330s. This is all the air buses and MD11s and Brares. Pretty much saw pretty much everything. All the, um, except, yeah, Airdress said they, they discontinued the route for unsortment of reasons. 330s, I seen everything except Air Union, Air Canada, and ETA. I did not see those. 350s, of course, so it's nothing too special. And um, Spot LAX plans. Almost all of them except the Westchester Parkway Bridge that, that Sunday afternoon. I wish I could have go, but of course my flight leaves in that afternoon. So unfortunately I had to miss on it, but it's okay. 
so yeah thank thank you uh nick for jet tip um i really glad it, i'm really glad i did the list it was really fun doing it putting out the list and everything it was fun to keep myself you know busy and distracted a little bit next up um this is also from the fire lamp ram tour as uh, the lax pen so i guess it's cool to see that <laughs> to see this as lax so gotta support the airport i love the airport man now let's get started with some airline videos memorabilia at a special thanks for kevin and rudy um for these so i got the um airline videos of course i had to rip it open because it's so hard to it's really hard to open it so the airline videos live um uh gift back from them so so let's get started with the memorabilia items so the first one is um this one called drop it bob it's a reference that kevin made about bob with the confettis and all the gifts around the runways References even later tater did some funny references about it too. It's hilarious. So yeah Drop it Bob Next I got some stickers actually, so I'm gonna do one by one This is the one I the one I really like airline videos live sticker I'm going to put this on my phone my phone case because you know, I like what I like what they did there. So yeah I, I like it. It's really really colorful and beautiful. So I like it <laughs> Next up is holy moly some four seven on the go Pretty much landing or go around or taking off. Yeah, this is the references for the queens to land or taking off or go arounds. Next up is go long references. Uh, if you don't know what go long means, which means all means seven forty seven are landing on the runway and they had to like go long on Lima, like go don't go short on taxiway off or anything like that. So it's very I like I like that reference honestly. Next up is Plain Spotter uh, of Geek. Of course, that's what I do. I'm <laughs> a Plain Spotter of Geek, LAX. So, it's what we do. Aviation enthusiast, baby. This one, okay, I forgot about this one. It's Jet Tip uh, Nick, uh, Dwarf Fest 2024. Um, can't wait for 2025 next year. I gotta make plans all that. Depends what my schedule is and everything, so I should be good with that. Uh, they will announce the announcements. Uh, they will announce the schedules in a couple weeks, like what's the dates and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> Next up is the Airline Videos Live pin. So I don't use pins, but I collect them, you know, like for memories and all that. So it's cool. Next up, uh, Nighthawk. Of course, then we haven't seen Kevin's uh, night streaming. He used the uh, Nighthawk cam, which is very cool. I like it. Um, next up is Los Angeles um, sticker, of course. I'm going to put that somewhere. So I'm going to put this somewhere as memories. So, yeah. <laughs> next up, um... Airline videos like Panic, Kevin and Rudy, right there, the plane jockeys. So, honestly, I do love them. Honestly, I, I like them a lot. They're very kind and respectful, and I appreciate that. Okay, these ones, this is new. I never got these. So, I have these uh, little cards, and I have their signature on it. So, Kevin, uh, Rudy, right there. That This is Kevin, and this is Rudy, and that's them uh, together. I really like them, honestly. They're awesome. They're very polite and respectful, and those are the people I trust. That, that I really like and I knew. But somehow they give me a second one, which is very hilarious, honestly. They give me a second one, which is very funny. But hey, I like I like what they did. I really like that. So I'm gonna put these aside. I'm gonna put these aside and then we'll get started with the models right now. So the first model is a one of 400s girl. I got it for Phoenix models. Um, I got it from uh, got a front crack at Dorkfest, so let's get into it. So the first model is a Phoenix Models, which is the Latam Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Uh, I've been hunting a Latam for a little while. Um, I was about to think about the Gemini, but when I saw this, um, I decided to get this instead. So it's a good model. Phoenix is a good company. I'm not gonna lie, they're very, they're pretty good. So I, I'm not too disappointed with their molds or anything. So the registration is Charlie Charlie brought. Bravo Golf Kilo, um, 77.9, so we have the side, Heart of Aviation at the top, side, bottom with the plane, and the back, limited edition, uh, nothing too special, so let's get into it. Here we go, first model, and here she is, the Tom 787-9, let's take off the plastic. Okay, let's Okay, let's put the box away. Alright, let's put this in there. Alright. 
Now let's review the models. Here she is, the LaThomas 787-9 Dreamliner. Let me just pull up the panel right now because we need to review this right now, actually. So, let's review it. Let me just set up my camera. Anyway, let's set up my camera. So, here she is. So, we have the the cup and windows right here. We have the little um, little antennas right here. We have the L1 door. We have the uh, LaTom logo. The LaTom titles. We have the first class. Um, we have uh, L2 door. We have Rolls Royce engines. Those engines are always hot. Uh, we have the... The wings right here with the flaps, the flaps, and the other side too. We got L3 door, um, Dreamliner, Boeing 77-9 right there. As you guys can see, yeah, there's 77-9. Uh, L4 door, registration is Charlie Charlie Bravo Golf Kilo and the Latam logo on the tail. So it's a very good model, not gonna lie. I'll give it at least like a nine out of 10. I, it's a good model, not gonna lie. I'm not like too disappointed. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, same thing except baggage claim right there and right there. So, nothing too special about it. So, let's just. So, let, here's the top of the archive looking very sharp. And then the underbelly um, with the Phoenix Models logo and the Latam logo right here. Looking very good. So, not gonna lie. I like what they did. So, yeah, it's a good model. Not gonna lie. But I'm still gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Alright, let's put this aside. Here we go. Last model, it's a one of 200 scale. I got it from the Spot LAX rooftop party uh, Friday night after I came, I came late. And somehow they gave me a trade and I happily agree because of course it's been a year, at least like almost a year since I bought a one of 200. The last one of 200 I bought was the, uh, the American MD-80. So here we go. Special thanks for Airline Videos Live and Jet Tip for the trade on the model. Which is the Gemini 200, 1 to 200 scale, Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-800, Nevada 1, November, registration, November 8646, Bravo, flaps, down, extended. Yes, here it is. Here it is, the Southwest 737-800. It's my first flaps down aircraft, and I don't know why it's like that. It's been outside at the party for so long, so... And luckily I got a trade for it. So thank you, Jeff Tip, for it. I really do appreciate it a lot for it. And yeah. Let's un unbox it. So <laughs> well, let's check out the stand. This okay, these stands I really hate. I really hate those stands, honestly. I really hate them. Because those stands are weak. And they always keep my models filling. Those stands are so weak. No offense, Gemini Jets. I do love your models, but fix your stands, please. So here we go. On the truth, here she is, Southwest Nevada 1 737-800 flaps down. And of course, you have the gear up and gear down uh, co co configurations. I want to put the gear down because that's my way. I like it that way. <laughs> All right, let's sit you, let's sit you out carefully with the split skip guitars. Here it is, Southwest, oh my God, flaps down, wow. That thing is a beauty. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to I'm going to put these. I'm going to put this away, actually. Okay, let's put this up. Let me just take it out real quick. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So here's the model. Here it is. So let's put it upside down so I could put the gear up. You can see all those little holes right there. So that's going to be easy to count as. So let's put the first one right here. All right, that's one. Here's number two. All right, looking good. And of course, the front gear. All right, let's see how it looks. Looking very good. Now, let's try to put up the stand. And hopefully it doesn't fall off because I hate these kind of stands, honestly. I really do. I really hate these stands. All right, here we go. All right, here she is. Southwest 737-800 flaps down configuration and one to 200 skill. Let's review it. I'm so excited to do this. All right, let me see if I can put my in the right. 
Okay, let's see what that. So we have the cupping windows right here. We have the Nevada One titles right over here. We have the Miami Gear, which is, I don't know, I don't know why it's moving like that. I gotta check it out. So, and then we have the L1 door right here, right there. The Southwest Heart Livery. I'm gonna just put my camera a little bit down. Uh, we have the um, the, f the plants and the flowers in Nevada right there. A battle horn, of course, that represents Nevada. Um, we have the flag right here. It's very cool with the engine with the flap. I just I like that. I like what Southwest did. They're they're smart with their state liveries. Uh, we have the flaps down over here. Um, we have the CFM engines, of course. We have the split scimitar right there, and then. The other one in the back, right here. And then we have the antenna right here with the Wi-Fi dome. Uh, not Wi-Fi dome, the beam light, light beam. And then we have the Wi-Fi dome right here, excuse me. And then we have the emergency exits right here. We have the flaps down. Um, let me just see, I can move my plane slowly. Yeah, it's literally flaps down. It's flaps. And then we have the bottom antenna right here. And then we have <laughs> the registration number 8646 Bravo. Um, and then the L2 door right there. And then the Southwest Heart livery on the tail, the Southwest logo. I, li I like what they did, honestly. Southwest nailed uh, not Southwest, Gemini Jets nailed it. Wow. And here's the other side as well. Nothing too special, all same thing except baggage claim. And uh, yeah, I'll give this model a solid 10 out of 10 on one and two on this scale. Yes, this is so good. I like. I love what they did, honestly. So, yeah, I like what they did. So let's let's jump to the conclusion. All right, here we go with the conclusion. So this is all the stuff I got from Spot LAX 2024. So of course we have the Southwest Nevada One, then the Phoenix models, the Tom Dreamliner, then they have the Jet Tip List, Dwarfest Jet Tip Pin, or not Pin, the, whatever you want to call it, the Chill. I don't know what the heck it is. This is we are playing the references. Uh, we have a lot of stickers from uh, Airline Videos Live. And then, yeah, there's the two that I was talking about uh, with their signatures on it. So very awesome. Really glad. And uh, Drop It Bob reference, of course. Uh, we have this LAX thing and this LAX sock from the Ram Tour. So, yeah, I have a great time doing this video. It's really fun, honestly. And I have so much memorabilia items and everything. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stop the bell, and share the video. So, you never miss another video again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.